to Final Third TV. This week we're going to discuss the lack of defensive players in the PFA shortlist and long list. Uh, Rob Palmer, Connor Hello. Hello. Uh, who wants to take this first? I'll go. Why I suppose I'll go first. <laughs> um, my, but my problem with individual awards in football, um, particularly the PFA awards, is that they don't recognise offenders. Um, and if you go back to even the Ballon d'Or, the last Ballon d'Or winner that wasn't Messi Ronaldo or an attacking player mm. was Cannavaro in 2006. And since then, a player, a defensive player hasn't come close to winning that. Um, and the PFA nominations this year, there was a load of defenders that could have been on it, like Aldo Foyle could have been on it. Uh, you could argue that Robert Hood could have been on it. You could argue that Christian Fuchs, Christian Fuchs, um, Kyle, Kyle Walker. Walker. Yeah, I just, I never just thought we'd say that. Yeah, but there's there's a, so many defenders who could point you could point to as having a pivotal effect on their team, and yeah, there's just not recognition for it. And I don't think that's a problem. Probably. Yeah, no, I'd agree. I think um, I think a lot of a lot of it has come with with sort of like scoring goals. Making goals is is all very nice and pretty, and I think that's what people like to see. Whereas if you look at like, like how someone leads, how someone leads a defensive line like like Robert Hootwood or like Alvaro has all season, it's it's not recognised because it's not fashionable. Mm. And I think, like football has gone too far. <laughs> it's like it's like political fucking argument. It's like it's gone too far. <laughs> it's gone um it's gone too far to like lob attacking players and like not talking about defensive players when, at the moment, counter attacking football is in vogue. And defenders should be lauded more because they're imperative to that system. Like I think Christian Fuchs, Adam said before, and he's one of the ones who's who's absolutely who's a disgrace. Who's not on any PFA list because he's been by far the most impressive defender mm. in the league, both attacking and defensively. Like he, he's he's been he's he's assisted so many goals. He's he's been involved in so, in so much play. He's stopped so many goals. He's done everything that you'd want the defender to do. But yeah, he doesn't get recognised because he hasn't put the ball in the goal. As much as Mario yeah. or Vardy or anything else. I personally blame like video games, yeah. like FIFA, for yeah. the sort of demise of credit. Yeah, no, I completely out. agree with you. Yeah. Um, and then of course there's the sort of perception that there's a right way to play football. Yeah, that which there is... is only one sort of way to play, play football, and if you don't, you know, you're not doing it right. And we also see an analysis of games and stuff like how many times does the likes of Alan Shearer or Ian Wright just go on about how important the goal scorer is? And, yeah. yeah. Uh, there's, there's very little decent analysis done in general on TV, but mostly on the defensive <laughs> yeah, side of the game. Yeah. You, you get it with Carragher and when Neville was on, you got it with him as well because um, they obviously did a little bit more time, mm. but they were defenders, so they knew they knew the role and knew what the defenders yeah, were. Yeah. So apart from that, the defender, defenders don't get highlighted. Yeah. And even defensive midfielders, like look at Eric Dyer, who is a centre-back by trade. Has been converted into a centre def defensive midfielder this year, and has been absolutely brilliant. Yeah. I don't know about you guys, most people don't rate him that I've spoken phenomenal. to in the, in the flesh. Like on Twitter, he's like this god, mm. and then that's, granted it's the Irish public, but I've spoken to most people, and they've kind of said mm, flash in the pan, mm, not all that great. Sort of like well, he's, like like uh, Harry Kane, really? flash in the pan, Harry Kane. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's excelled uh, as a defender in Portugal. Um, it's quite decent for Tottenham mm. in that position. Fullback position last year. Right back, centre back. Yeah. Back. And now he's just gone into a defensive midfield role this season and been yeah. brilliant as well. So, yeah, I don't get it. I don't, it's just one of those things I noticed that people don't uh, people don't seem to. Re Maybe I'm wrong. But you can let us know in the comment section below. I guess um, it's just something I picked up in sort of general conversation. So I just remembered, and don't comment on this because it's bold. Uh, Kyle Walker won the PFA Young Player of the Year in 2013, I think it was. Really? Yeah, yeah. See, individual awards are bollocks. Um, yeah. They, <laughs> no, um, it was when he first broke into the side. And you remember he scored that like that screamer against Arsenal when Chesney was in goal, and the, the ball was essentially kicked right out of him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Chesney just went, "Oh look, a ball." <laughs> I let that go in. He yeah. does that quite often. So. Yes. But yeah, just 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 to sort of put some balance. But like generally speaking, like in terms of the Ballon d'Or, in terms of like other plus other it wasn't awards. wasn't called Walker like this all action Cowden defend for his life fullback sort yeah. of not, not, not he of was the, more, not he the, was uh, more green, like we were talking about Kyle Walker the defender this was more Kyle Walker the winger yeah. Yeah, yes at, at that yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. that's all I remember him for is just kind of Hollywood runs and not being there when the counter attack actually happened off his tits on laughing gas what a player yeah what a player what a pro <laughs> but um yeah is that for, yeah, pretty yeah. much. Just for Fuchs. Justice for Fuchs. Just Hashtag for justice for Fuchs. Tobes. Just for Fuchs. Fuchs. Tobes. Yeah. Uh, just for Fuchs. Thing, isn't it? Just for Fuchs, yeah. Comment in the section below. Let's know what you think about defensive players. Um, I suppose you could argue it's a systemic thing with defensive players. Yeah, yeah big time. Big time. Um, subscribe to Final Third TV. Follow us on Twitter at the final underscore third. Thanks for watching.